The Duke of Edinburgh admitted he had been left somewhat shaken after his Land Rover Freelander collided with a Kia near the Queen's estate in Sandringham. And now royal sources say the 97-year-old, who escaped the crash unscathed, has been struggling ever since. One source said he has been visibly more frail since he was pulled from the wreck. Prince Philip looks fed up as a passenger week after crash the Queen shuns seatbelt again after shoot with Sir Jackie Stewart the truth is away from public eyes this has shaken him really badly, as it would anyone. It comes after Prince Philip penned a letter to 46-year-old passenger Emma Fairweather, who suffered a broken wrist in the collision, saying he was deeply sorry. The note was hand-delivered to Ms. Fairweather three days after she had told of her upset at not hearing from the Queen's husband since the accident. Read more, Prince Philip's apology letter in full a source told The Sun the idea he may have hurt someone would mortify him. He's faced criticism for not being in touch with victims sooner. But anyone who has been in a crash knows for legal reasons you have to be so careful about apologizing and making contact. The Duke continues to face uncertainty over his verdict, as officers say they are finishing the investigation. Philip claimed he was dazzled by the low sun and failed to see the car coming in the opposite direction. Beef up immigration laws to beat villains express comment Prince Philip crash, Duke to hear police verdict following car call. In the typed 131-word note, which was had signed by Philip, he mistakenly said she had a broken her arm instead of her wrist. In the letter, seen by the Sunday Mirror, the Duke wrote, I would like you to know how very sorry I am for my part in the accident at the Babingley Crossroads. I have been across that crossing any number of times and I know very well the amount of traffic that uses that main road. It was a bright sunny day, and at about three in the afternoon, the sun was low over the wash. In other words, the sun was shining low over the main road. In normal conditions I would have no difficulty in seeing traffic coming from the Dursingham direction, but I can only imagine that I failed to see the car coming, and I am very contrite about the consequences. I was somewhat shaken after the incident, but I was greatly relieved that none of you were seriously injured. As a crowd was beginning to gather, I was advised to return to Sandringham House by a local police officer. I have since learned that you suffered a broken arm. I am deeply sorry about this injury. I wish you a speedy recovery from a very distressing experience. The letter was signed off yours sincerely Philip. Ms. Fairweather told the Sunday Mirror, when I opened it, I saw the Sandringham House headed paper and went oh my god, he asked how I was and said sorry that I was in pain. I was chuffed. I thought it was really nice that he signed off as Philip and not the formal title. I was pleasantly surprised because of the personalized nature 